Time now to move on to painting the wheels. Uh, for this, as you can see, they're already primed up. Give them a quick coat of aerosol primer, let that dry. So, initial coat just for the uh, tyres themselves. We're going to use dark rubber, which is a Panzer Aces colour, nice dark grey, which serves as a nice base coat. Again, we're just going to keep to the acrylic theme and uh, spraying with that. The centres on the one, uh, the version I'm doing are black. So, I think. What I am going to do is, instead of using black, I'm going to use this stuff, which is the heavy charcoal. We're going to really, really dark grey. At least then we can go either darker or a, or a touch lighter if needs be, but that should be a nice contrast to the to the rubber black, as you can see. So, first of all, do is we'll just do one wheel. So, you know, it's obviously going to be the same process for all of them. Alright, so we'll just pick a wheel. Usual thing with Valeros, give them a good wake up, give them a good shake. Alright. Give a few drops in there. Thinners. Again, if you're going down the Tamiya route or the AK AK real colours, any of them, they all do sort of a version of rubber black. Again, NATO black's another good one you can use. That's an off, you know, an off black colour. Basically, any dark grey. We'll do you as a nice, um, a nice base coat. So, just uh, grab some kitchen roll. So just going back on to Mevo paintbrush, uh, sorry, airbrush. So that's already been blown through and tested. So, so load up that. So light coats as usual when spraying. Zooming for you. Don't worry too much about it if you get over spray onto the hubs. It doesn't matter at the minute. Just get a, a nice coat. I flip it over to the other side. Then while we're at it, we'll just uh, give the rest of them a bit of a blast. So we've got a nice even coat on the outside, what we'll do is just give that sort of five minutes just to flash off. Oh no, then we'll flip it over, finish doing the treads and the backs. And then uh, and then we'll come back and then I'll show you a um, quick mask just to paint the middles. Really simple way of doing it, really cheap as well. 
so no messing about with tape and all them sort of things so uh, okay we'll see you in a minute and now the rubber colour on and dry so next step is to paint the centres and for this all I'm going to do is a cheap circle template should I say cheap circle, circle template buy this from anywhere a few few pounds few dollars wherever okay make a good um, quick mask for wheels as you can see just pick a size that's near enough the same plunk it over the top boom job done okay so by the looks of it's good with that might be a bit of touching up to do with a brush after or or whatever but again the weathering even if you get a bit of overspray onto the tire which you've done a bit of weathering and washing and all the other stuff it'll blend in anyway so i won't worry too much so as you can see that's what we're going to use again i've, nicked, I've um, mixed up the charcoal color like i said earlier and what i've done is as well dropped a couple of um spots of satin varnishing with it just to give it a bit of a satin finish well i hope that's going to give it a satin finish so Airbrush is already loaded. Keep it in shot. Let's have a look. All right, we'll go for, for that size there. That should roughly do it. Okay, and then. Give it a quick blast over. Alright, so it is as simple as that. So, what we'll do is we'll do the rest of the wheels. Get all them done in the rears. Not that you're going to see a lot of the rears anyway. And then we can come back and just start the uh, weathering process. But yeah, like I say, cheap cir circle template. Ideal, another cheap tool just to have in your uh, toolbox. Again, just for quickly doing wheels. Okay, the time has come now to weather these. So what we're going to do, we're going to use one wheel as a demo. So first things I'm going to do is give them a quick wash and for this I'm going to use the landing gear dust and the Africa Corp vehicle wash. Alright, so what we're going to do is a bit of a wet on wet mixture just to get a bit of dust and grime starting around the rims and around uh, the nuts, bolts and stuff like that. So, got a little bit of odourless thinner there. The lids off them. Just thing to remember these washers they do settle, so just keep them stirred and activated so all the pigment don't settle at the bottom. Alright, so that's the dust one. Okay. The Africa core one. So, just use one of these brushes, not a massive brush, don't need to be lathering it all on. So, this is just a 2 0. Right, so, and then let the capillary action do the work, just dab it on, let it flow into all the recesses. Okay. around the uh, wheel bolts and the center okay simple as that all right so then what we're going to do is not cleaning the brush either just going to take a bit of the uh, landing gear dust again just dab that on let it blend in on its own
and so we just start off the weathering process and then after these are dry cleaned up we're going to go in there with some pigments okay just highlight any details on the tires so writing or uh, you know any marks in them printing Again, it's just dabbing from one one jar to another doing a bit of a wet and wet mixture there we go and there we go it's so, alright that concoction's on there what I'll do is let that dry off and then clean any up clean up any parts that we're not happy with okay and then we'll come back with the pigments and then start layering, layering the pigments up so the wash is now dry we're going to move on to the pigments so done some clean up again just with a bit of um, odorless white spirit for any bits that we're not happy with and as you can see, just starting to get a little bit of build up just around the edge of the tire to the uh, hub. So, what we've got here is a couple of pigments. We've got a dark one and a light one, as you can see. Uh, dark one is from Life Colour, which is the Golden Dark Earth to start with. And I've got an old MIG one here. Unfortunately, the stickers fell off. I'm not actually sure. Is it if it's European dust or something else but it's a, it's just a light earth colour so any will do really the uh, the names are relevant what I'm going to do is put these on dry to begin with especially around this bit what I've done I've just done one off cam as you can see so you're going to get that sort of effect and then what we'll do is we'll make a wash to do in between the tie thread so just so you can see dry pigment again not not a big brush this is an old brush as well won't use your best brushes for this all right so I can just place it where you want it I'm just going to put it in a build up round there and just play the lights up as well you can mix these together as well same as we did with the washers in the center Not a massive fan of lathering everything in pigments, but they do seem to work really, really nice on um, wheels. So, again, we'll just fix these in place with a bit of X20A when we're happy with the with the end result. Well, there you can go. That's just starting a nice little build up. I don't want these overly, overly dirty. Again, um, if you want to do them thick mud or sand or whatever you know there's a pigment for everything so so we're going to leave it at that let that go off and then what we'll do is use the same mixture that we've got in there we're going to add again a bit of a bit of odorless thinner make a wash And to remember when you thin this down is the colour will definitely change when it dries okay I'm just going to uh, stick myself a quick glove on so I get this everywhere but it can be really messy so put it on in the treads
can literally just slap this on because what we'll do is when it's dry just wipe it off and leave it where we need it Show you on the inside if we just use it wet as well, how it dries. I was really bothered about the inside of the tie, and I was probably going to see it, but just give a good demonstration. So, okay, so that is now slapped on as you can see. I'll just stick it on its end, just let that dry. And then when we come back, we'll clean it up. Like I said, pigments are now dry. There's a bit of a hair dry just to speed up the process. And that's how they look when, they, uh, when they've gone off and cured. So next job is to just now tidy up where we want it to be tidy, as we say. So I'm going to use a bit of a Q-tip cotton bud what you call them and just gently feather them in again being these resin ties they are actually quite uh, quite deep thread tread sorry so um, it settles in there nicely Another good tool is, is the finger, the humble finger. So just wipe over the top of the treads. The pigment will stick to your fingers. Don't worry if you wear through in any places, you can just touch them up. There you go. Also, what your finger do, will do is actually polish as well. it's left and there we go just a quick demo like I say it's just wore through a little bit there we'll just touch that up after when it's on so there we go quick demo on uh, weathering wheels painter and weathering wheels